channel at Ebony Jasmine. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to my new watchers and hopefully subscribers, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you like, comment, make sure you end up subscribing at the end of this video so that you can keep up with me and everything we got going on here, okay? All right, so in today's video, guys, I'm going to answer a question that I get all the time. If I had a dollar for every time I got this question, I would be freaking rich right now. And that question is, why did you decide to enlist in the Air Force instead of commission as an officer if you have a four year bachelor's degree and you graduated from college? So if you're interested to know how I came to that decision and just hear more about like the difference between like enlisting versus commissioning as an officer, then stay tuned. So I'm actually on my lunch right now. So I'm gonna try to make this video very brief, very quick and to the point. Um, so first and foremost, I just wanna put it out there that as far as joining the military, um, this is not something that has been in my family. This is not something that um, I've been around growing up. This is not something that has been on my heart since I was a little girl to join the military. So I say that to make the point that the decision to join the Air Force is not something that I knew for a very long time that I wanted to do. It's still, well once when I made the decision, it was still a fairly new decision to me. Um, so with that being said, I still had a whole lot to consider. I had, you know, a lot of decisions to make. Um, I wasn't like a thousand percent sure in my heart that it's something I wanted to do for a long time. So quick background on me, I graduated from James Madison University, go Dukes. I graduated in May of 2018, so I do have my bachelor's. Um, my degree is in health sciences, so I could have decided to, instead of enlisting in the Air Force, commissioning as an officer because you have to have a four-year college degree in order to do so. And when you enlist in the Air Force, guys, depending on um, your educational background, you can enlist at a higher rank. Um, so I am an Airman First Class, I'm an E3, so I was able to enlist as an E3 because I have at least 45 college credits. Um, so I know you can have if you have at least 45 college credits or like three years of junior ROTC, you can commission, I mean, you can um, enlist as in E3. For E2, I believe it's if you have at least 20 college credits or two years of junior ROTC to enlist as an E2. And if you, you know, just come in with you know, no stripes are just an airman basic and you start working way up from there. So when I was doing my research on um, joining the military and weighing the pros and cons of enlisting versus trying to go the officer route, the first thing that kind of made me iffy about it was because like I said, this isn't something that I've known my whole life that I wanted to do. Um, and I'm the type of person, I don't like to just jump into things, like I like to know what I'm getting myself into. Like I like to have like a 360 view on things. Um, to make sure that I can like make a solid decision on what I'm stepping into. So when I was thinking more about my decision, you know, I was like, I don't know if I wanna do this for, you know, just four years. I don't know if I wanna do this for six years, 10 years. I don't know if I wanna stay in for 20 years and make a career out of this. Like, I just didn't know. So the thought of going straight in as an officer, being, you know, in charge, leading people, like having that kind of title, it wasn't something that I felt like was for me to do, at least not right off the bat, you know what I mean? I wanted to, I want to get my feet wet. I kind of want to like, you know, see what's what, um, be in the force before I make that kind of decision. So that's one of my main reasons that I was like, I think enlisting is more for me. Going a little bit more off of that is, I have been in a lot of leadership roles in my life um, so far. And I just feel like to be an effective leader, at least this is just my opinion i feel like you kind of have to know you kind of got to go through the trenches with the people you're leading you know what i mean you have to like understand like what they're dealing with what they're going through i feel like that helps you be more relatable i feel like that helps you be more respected and i feel like it just makes you an overall better leader if you can relate to the people that you're leading so that's another thing i thought of when i decided to enlist instead of try to go in as an officer because I want to be able to understand, you know, the people that I'm leading um, and I want to be able to understand them to the best of my ability. And I feel like going in straight as an officer and like, you do this, you do this, you do that. It's just, it's not really my style. And so, yeah. 
Another big thing people used to always tell me, they would be like, well, you make so much more money as an officer. Like, why don't you wanna, you don't wanna make more. This is the thing about that. So thankfully, by the grace of God, I received a full scholarship to run track in college. Um, so I don't have any student loans. Um, that's a main reason people join the military is for you know that financial that financial stability and being able to pay back what they need to and just live more comfortably. So I'm not saying I wouldn't want to make more money. Obviously, <laughs> I would love to make more money. However, that is not a that wasn't a driving factor in my decision to enlist versus being an officer um, because I don't and you know I don't have any dependents. I'm not married. I don't have kids. It's literally just me, myself, and I don't have any outstanding debt, don't have anything besides like basic, like, you know, everyday payments. So like the money factor wasn't something that swayed my decision one way or another. Like that really didn't have an effect at all. So I was able to make more of a solid decision based on what I truly wanted to do. Another main factor, even though at this point I had already, you know, decided that I wanted to enlist instead of commission as an officer, was the timing. So around it, when I went to my recruiter to start this whole process, it was really close to the end of the, like close to the end of the period to turn in like paperwork and stuff for OTS. Um, so if I wanted to go that route, I would have had to wait until like the following year and I was not trying to wait that long anyway. Like I was trying to get up out of Virginia and start this new chapter of my life. So that wasn't an option at all. I wasn't that I didn't want it bad enough to be like, I'm gonna wait a whole nother year before I, you know, try to commission as an officer, go to officer training school and, you know, do all that that I need to do. Um, so that was another main thing that I was like, no, thank you, I'm good. Also, I know there's like a lot of politics and a lot of extra stuff involved when you're an officer and you're in charge of all of those kind of duties, which I, I really don't know all that it entails because I'm not, you know, an officer and I just recently joined the military. So I'm still learning a whole lot. Um, but from my perspective, I'm happy with the decision I made to enlist. Um, I still feel like from what I see now, like the NCOs and the senior NCOs, like they're still leaders also. Like, so I, I know that like, I don't necessarily have to commission as an officer to be fulfilled from, you know, the type of leadership that I'm doing. Cause I'm someone who I really, I really do enjoy being a leader. And I feel like, I feel like I may decide to try to commission as an officer later on in my career. I'm not exactly sure yet, cause I'm still very, very new. Um, but yeah, so my main reasons right there are just, you know, it's not something that I had been planning to do for a long time in my life. So I wasn't like, okay, this is definitely the path I'm taking. So I still want to be more sure that I'm gonna make a career out of the military before I decide to commission as an officer. Because if I commission as an officer, I'm staying in this thing, okay, basically. Um, second reason is, you know, it's just me. I don't have any dependents. I don't have any kids. I don't have any, you know, student loans, debt, anything like that. So the money isn't a factor for me. So that's the other reason. And then lastly, it was the timing of things. So those are like my main three reasons why I decided to enlist in the Air Force instead of commission as an officer. Um, and, you know, like I said, I just, I want to get my feet wet. Like I gotta see what's what, I gotta understand, I gotta like, you know, be in this thing for a little bit, you know, to before I can make that kind of decision. That's just how I feel. I don't know if anybody can relate to that. Um, but yeah, so those are my reasons, guys. I hope that answered some people's questions because I know a lot of people wonder why I enlisted with a bachelor's degree. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.